Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. If you have already seen the rejection video that I made about South Korea, then you would be understanding this video. Now, as I told you that I had what I had submitted, what I think you know, I could not understand why my application was rejected. Lately, I've been thinking over it. Once one thing I uh, think that could be counted as my mistake was that the morning on which I uh, went to collect my passport. The same night at around one Korean local time, I I had cancelled my reservation, which was already unpaid. So they had my passport for I think for three or four days. So it might be you know far fetched that you know how is it possible that they had three uh, they had my passport for three days, and exactly the same night they checked with the hotel. But it is possible. It can't be you know said that it is not possible. So maybe that's why my application was rejected because if I want to apply next time. The only uh, saf safety measure that I can take is that I would not reject, I would not cancel my reservation. Otherwise, I don't know what happened because I submitted everything authentic, and I did not do anything, you know, fake or something because I know that it destroys uh, our case, our matter with the uh, consulate. That you know, they think that what is she doing? She is not uh, providing us with the pro providing us the real documents. I did everything right. I think this was the only. I don't know. It it is possible that they might have called in the morning and they said, "Oh no, she cancelled it last night." So they said, "Ah, we should not." Though it is al always temporary reservation. Whenever we apply for any visa, it's always temporary reservation. So if even if I cancel it, I don't know. She the, that lady behind the window did does not even show. A, you know, did not talk to me about anything. I just uh, was talking to a blank, shiny window. That's it. So maybe that was a mistake. Assalamualaikum.